The day begins at a Buddhist temple. Drum beats resonate through the pre-dawn darkness. It is a prayer for all living things to be free of their pains. Korean temples where people have practiced the true spirit of Buddhism for the past 1,700 years are getting ready to welcome special guests. Duryun Mountain, located in Henam South Chola Province. Taeyongsa or Taeyong Temple is nestled among the mountain's eight peaks, which are shaped like a lotus blossom. It is said that passing through the temple's first gate, Uchumun, takes you to the world of enlightenment, and going through the second gate, Hitarmun, rids you of all your foolish thoughts. Dehum Temple was built a millennium ago during the Shilla Kingdom era. Venerable Buddhist monk Sosan called the area the land to last 10,000 years. Korean temples started welcoming foreign overnight guests during the 2002 FIFA World Cup. At the time, temples imbued with Korean culture were used as lodgings for countless foreign visitors who had come for the games. <laughs> Since then, foreigners' interest in Buddhist culture has sharply increased. To those who are not of Buddhist faith, a temple stay is not a religious retreat but a chance to experience Korean culture. Upon entering the sanctuary of Buddhist monks cut off from the outside world, foreign visitors first learn the basic Buddhist manners. Hapjang, the gathering of palms to express a pure heart. Kneeling and bowing low with respect, foreign guests watch intensely as to not miss a single motion. They do a big bow for the first time in their lives. Although they try their hardest to follow every move, it's unfamiliar territory for both their minds and bodies. Low bowing in Buddhism symbolizes one's respect for Buddha, the humbling of oneself and enlightenment. Temple stay participants sit quietly to listen to a monk's explanation of sitting, meditation, one of the ways to reach enlightenment. This is just one of many Buddhist practices, but to Westerners accustomed to sitting in chairs, staying cross-legged on the floor is a challenge in itself. But little by little they grow closer to understanding Korean sentiments and Buddhist culture. My friend had the wonderful idea a few weeks ago that we should um, take the weekend together and see some of Korean culture, and we thought it was a great idea. The first day of Temple Stay is over. It was a day of awkwardness and discomfort for most participants. Now they sit around comfortably to talk about a new world they have just encountered. Ja, viele Dinge zu beachten. Dann muss ich erstmal viel denken, bis ich so weit bin, dass ich das auch alles durchführen kann. 
And thus a day at Daeung Temple ends. Daybreak at the Temple. Nature tells men to shake off their greed and foolishness. One of the most important experiences of a temple's day is the formal monastic meal, palu gongyang. Palu means a modestly portioned wooden bowl, and gongyang means a temple meal. A blanket term for the monk's table etiquette, palu gongyang requires that you take just enough for your needs in bowls and leave no leftovers. No voices or sounds of eating should be heard. A meal should be taken as if you are practicing a Buddhist teaching. Everything inside the wooden bowl was raised by the earth, sunlight, and rain. So it is only right to thank nature for the food. Everyone's bowl is finished clean. After the meal, water is poured into the empty bowl. <laughs> Following the monk's instruction, participants wipe the bowl with the last piece of food. What to do with the water? You drink it to the last drop. That's what Paul Gongyang is. This is possible only when you take in food with a genuine sense of thankfulness. There is nothing to throw away because there is nothing left, and no life was hurt because nothing was thrown away. This is what makes Palu Gongyang an eye-opening experience for them. Um, so far, nothing's been difficult for us. Everything's been very easy and everything's been translated for us. So it's been fantastic. Uh, learning about the breakfast ceremony was very, very fun. Chanting was difficult because I, uh, it was my first time and I didn't really know what I was doing and I didn't understand the chanting. Um, but I still, I was glad I could be a part of it. They say the real Temple Stay experience begins on the second day. The awkwardness of the first day is gone, and people search for enlightenment in silence. Attaining enlightenment through meditation. This is Kanhua Chan, a signature practice of Korean Buddhism. The highest level of Buddhist achievement is reaching the awakening through Kanwa Chan and saving mankind. Jungkook, Hankook, Japan, these three countries, not only in Korea, but in the whole world, the Kanwa Chan is continuing to be continued. 일본도 그렇고 중국도 그렇고 이론은 있지만은 이렇게 실참하는 곳은 전 세계 지금 지구상에 한국 하나밖에 없습니다. 그렇 때문에 더욱 그런 가치가 있는 거죠. 한마디로 말해서 타파하는 거죠. 그 몸과 이 머리로만 그 화두를 드는 게 아니고 몸과 마음과 혼연 일체가 돼서. 그 깊은 그 선정 삼매 들어갈 수 있는 그 방법으로서 이 가나스 이 화두를 본다. 그래서 이 가나는 거거든요. Now that they've realized silence is the most beautiful sound, they share fragrant tea with a Buddhist monk. They smile with contentment. Tea is one of the offerings to Buddha. A tea ceremony is another important activity, for you have to brew the tea with care 
and drink it with your body held erect. During the meditation, I was mostly trying to clear my mind of any thoughts, but when I couldn't do that, I was just trying to concentrate on all the good things happening in my life and all the hopes I have for the future. Yes, Day Hungsa was perfect. Mm -hmm. Um, we didn't really know what to expect coming here, but the entire weekend's been great. It's been very beautiful. Everyone's been very friendly, and uh, everything's been translated for us, so it's been perfect. The residents of the Indian ambassador to Korea in the Hanamdong neighborhood of Seoul. Buddhism originated in India 2,500 years ago and spread to Korea through China. When Ambassador Tayal and his wife first arrived in Korea, they chose a temple stay to experience Korean culture. The couple remembers and cherishes their Korean temple stay experience. They were impressed by how Korean Buddhists reflect on themselves through meditation and live in harmony with nature. she decided to make this flower and it's very theoropathic because there are a lot of other people also sitting and doing uh, some kind of activity so everybody to sit quietly and do and concentrate and do so she found it very nice and peaceful at that time so this is the flower that she made and we keep it for display and remember our time at the temple It is uh, really an experience of uh, old and traditional Korean culture and it is important for uh, um, us foreigners who come to Korea to understand and experience this, uh, uh, this part of uh, Korean heritage which is unique and uh, I think it is very well organized and uh, uh, it is uh, more than just tourism it is uh, tourism coupled with uh, uh, understanding of the history and culture of an ancient society the buddhist nation of thailand its capital bangkok is undergoing tremendous transformation and growth but its people's devotion to Buddha remains unchanged. It is easy to spot Buddhist monks begging in Bangkok streets. Asking for alms is one of the Buddhist practices. Monks live on what the faithful give them. What they get in alms is offered to Buddha first. That is how people's prayers reach Buddha. อาหารใส่บาตรครับเทวาเป็นศาสนาพุทธคือการทําบุญนะฮะโดยการใส่บาตรกับพระภิกษุสงฆ์เอาไปที่ไหนคะเนี่ย Wishes are gathered in a basket. Thais offer donations to the monks ahead of their own meals. When people give food or flowers, the monks offer prayers on their behalf. The city is dotted with splendid Buddhist temples. Boasting a long Buddhist tradition, Thailand faithfully adheres to its religious roots to this day. To the Thai people, Buddhism is not just a religion, but a way of life. <laughs> Buddhist meditation centers are a rage in Thailand. People who come here immerse themselves only in quiet meditation, free of strict rules or instructions. 
This is the most well-known Buddhist practice of Thailand. Sometimes walking slowly barefoot, sometimes sitting still and emptying one's mind to enjoy serenity. They're now leaving this hectic secular world and heading toward a tranquil world of Buddhism. ก็ได้นั่งวิปัสสนาแล้วเราก็สบายใจดีค่ะจะทําให้เรารู้สึกว่าเรามีสติแล้วเกิดปัญญาแก้ไขปัญหาทุกอย่างได้อย่างเป็
It's more interactive with the masseuse. So if, if you saw we're touching and using our bodies and balancing on, on the, the person that's getting the massage, whereas in America, at least, it's mostly just hands pushing on someone. So you like Thai massage more than others, right? Or enjoying it? Yeah. Today, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Unless I find something different, you know. Like, เอ่อนักเรียนต่างชาติก็ค่อนข้างจะเยอะนะครับแต่ในแล้วแต่ช่วงโลก็คือช่วงที่ไม่มีนักอ่าต่างชาติมาท่องเที่ยวเอ่อ
and threading 108 beads. Slowly stand up with your right. In Buddhist teaching, people are known to have 108 defilements, but bowing 108 times supposedly frees people from those anguishes. Right hand, left hand, bow to forehead, on a palm, up and down, turn up again, and stand up. This is the Buddhist rosary, beads for reflection. Its purpose is to eliminate all idle thoughts and help one focus on following the Buddhist way. They are in a strange land doing strange things and threading beads. But as they pull one bead after another, their chaotic thoughts disappear one by one. As darkness settles into the temple, the Zen meditation, a search for oneself in silence, begins. To encounter their true selves, Temple Stay participants close their mouths and ears and open up their hearts. But in the deepening silence, they must first fight off sleepiness. The mere hint of dozing invites a silent shadow. The sound of a bamboo clapper breaks the silence. Waking the mind and body with its piercing sound, the bamboo clapper, called the chukpi in Korean, is made by splitting a bamboo stalk in half. But the pain it delivers is never as sharp as its sound. Living in a world filled with noise tends to make people feel anxious in silence. This is why Zen meditation can be good therapy. No, I thought everything was pretty easy. Um, actually, I like very repetitive things. So I like the 108 prayers because it, to me, I look at it as a problem I have to solve. And it's easy because you just have to do over and over the same thing. It's not like thinking of something creative where it's much more difficult. Um, but I saw the person next to me, a Danish girl. She was going very fast. And I thought, oh, she's going to finish before me. I want to finish before her. Um, but I, I got the feelings of things you were talking about, because I thought of greedy mind, wanting to go fast, hurried, et cetera, hurried mind. The sound of a wooden clacker signals the evening service. Foreign visitors head to the prayer hall. There are three prayer services daily. The prayers are for all men to feel the same way as Buddha. Peacefulness settles over the participants as a monk recites a long prayer while tapping on the wooden clacker. The second day of the Urban Temple Stay program dawns. People try not to make any noise as they walk along the path around the temple. Not many people can give up their greed completely, but at this moment, they begin to wonder if maybe their greed is not so important after all. At the end of the stroll, some may find themselves a little more free of want. Numbers. 
Now they gather around to listen to a lecture about Buddhist practices. First, we are going to live our life is right view. Right view. So right see somebody, right see something is not easy. This cultural program allows you to experience with your body, feel with your heart, and understand with your mind. They may have been here for a short time, but they leave with a deep understanding. I didn't have the really expectation what would happen when we came here. It was a kind of a surprise in all. It was very interesting for me to understand more about Buddhism and to get a little uh, experience in how it is amongst the group, being in silence, how to communicate more with signs. And uh, so it's very interesting and um, the whole like way of living of Buddhism that you showed us over the 20 hours, I don't know how long it really was. Um, I think it opened eyes or it's um, I think a very good, clean way of living. So of course I would love to get more about that. 한국의 사찰을 찾는 이유가 한국 분들이랑 좀 차별이 있습니다. 한국에 대해서 알고 싶고 한국 문화를 접하고 싶다라는 의욕이 크기 때문에 제일 먼저 불교에 대한 이론을 알려주기보다는 한국의 문화가 한국 사찰에서 나왔다라는 거에 대한 자연스러운 접근을 위해서 자연스러운 대화와 자연스러운 이론을 서로 공유하는 것으로 시작을 합니다. 그리고 마음이 열리고 나면은 어떤 프로그램도 그 본인들이 다 수화를 할수 있기 때문에 108 염주 만들기나 참선이나 불교의 수행은 그거의 보너스 같은 프로그램이라고 할수 있겠습니다. The Temple Stay Information Center in Insa Dong Seoul. The center opened in 2009 to promote interest in Korean Buddhism and Temple Stay programs. Its book cafe features PR materials for Temple Stay programs and books on Buddhism. You can also have a cup of fragrant tea representing each temple. Information on 108 Temple Stay programs is available at the center. Roughly 30,000 visitors, 7,000 of them foreigners, have come here for help. An OECD report released in 2009 applauded Korea's Temple Stay programs as competitive cultural content. They just, uh, are you satisfied all the information? It's very good information. It's very complete and I didn't expect the maps, uh, for example, also. Mm -hmm. Are you interested in Temple Stay? Yes, I think I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. Temple Stay Tongap Jungbo Center is in the year of 365. 어, 언제든지 안내할 수 있도록 전문 통역 어, 안내사가 상시 대기하고 있고 특히 에, 여기에 이제 갖추어진 홍보물은 저희 템플스테이에서 제공한 홍보물뿐만 아니라 어, 한국 그 여행 관광 어, 기관에서 나오는 많은 홍보물 그리고 지자체에서 나오는 홍보물까지 전체 망라를 하고 있습니다. A temple in autumn is redolent with the scent of flowers. Young Pyeongsa, or Young Pyeong Temple in Gongju, South Chungcheong Province, is hosting the Siberian Chrysanthemum Festival. Korea's Temple Stay programs are still trying to find their identities. Young Pyeong Temple boasts a beautiful Siberian chrysanthemum field created 20 years ago. Visitors to the temple delight in autumn flowers and a peaceful temple ambiance. Only the Siberian chrysanthemums picked in October right before they fully blossom make for the best tea. The most popular festival attraction is the flower soap making event. This Temple Stay program has grown into a regional festival, inviting a lot more people to get involved. 네, 영평사도는 또 템플 스테이 지정 사찰로 지정되어서 템플 스테이를 운영하는데 또 이제 가을에는 또 산사에는 순수한 구절초 꽃과 함께 꽃길 걷기 명상 또 내지는 구절초 꽃 비누 만들기 또 이런 테마로서 또 이제 여러 또 외국인들 또 함께 참여도 하고 국내 분들도 많이 참가하게 됐습니다. 
Gyeongju, a city alive with magnificent Buddhist culture. Having been the capital of the Buddhist Shilla Kingdom, the city is filled with Buddhist cultural artifacts from a thousand years ago. The city's signature Bulgoksa, or Bulgok Temple, welcomes special guests today. Japanese Buddhist monks and the faithful have come to experience the Korean Buddhist tradition. The pilgrimage to 33 sacred Buddhist sites that started in 2008 is a new site of Korean temple stays. <laughs> あの、Pilgrimages to 33 Buddhist shrines first began in Japan. The Bodhisattva of Compassion is portrayed in 33 different appearances. That's why 33 sacred temples are visited. Japan has some 80 pilgrimage courses that draw about 8 million pilgrims annually. Inspired by Japan, Korea has designed new Buddhist experience packages. In the first year of the Korean Buddhist pilgrimage program, roughly 7,000 Japanese came to see Korean temples. Korean and Japanese Buddhists are broadening their understandings of each other. Japanese monks were most impressed by how Korean Buddhists stalwartly safeguard the legitimacy of Mahayana Buddhism. Daijo、お釈迦様以来、中国、韓国、日本などに仏教が伝わりましたが、本当の意味での大乗仏教の最後の最後の取り出というか、を守っているのが。韓国の仏教だと私は思っております。それに対して日本の仏教は一般には広がっておりますが在紀仏教になっております。葬式仏教のようになっております。日本에도なるんでろ日本の仏教だったんの葬式仏教のようになっております。日本에도なるんでろ
어, 이 한국의 문화를 좀더 우리가 체계적으로 알리기 위해서 여기에 국제선센터를 어, 건립하게 됐습니다. 템플스테이는 한국뿐만이 아니라 곧 세계적인 템플스테이 수준이 될수 있도록 전반적인 준비를 진행할 것입니다. 가장 기본적인 언어소통 문제, 국가 간에 가지고 있는 전통적인 문화체험 등 여러 가지 어떤 부분들을 세밀하게 연구 검토해서 성공적인 테물스테이 사업이 될수 있도록 저희들은 계속 노력할 것입니다. Manhattan, the heart of New York. A large crowd of Americans has gathered at the Korea Cultural Center. They're here to find out more about Korea's temple stays. It was an opportunity for Korea to publicize its Buddhist culture and temple stay programs. Because we haven't really started the uh, tourism, you know, selling the tourism of Korean tourism, but this is an opportunity, you know, to attend this and, you know, that's it. Uh, look like Temple State is uh, one of the new programs that uh, they never tried before. And as you understand, uh, the tour market in the United States are quite well established. They signed from around 19, back to 1950s. So that means they have already tried almost everything. So Temple State look like a new thing for them. And uh, I almost uh, received a lot of questions from my travel agents. They, they start asking for uh, how convenient it is to uh, arrange the two packages. And, uh, um, uh, but some of the questions I already asked you know, before they finished the presentations, like uh, is it a year-round program? Uh, they provide the other equipment, just like uniform or something like that. So I guess, um, yeah, we're pretty well informed, yeah. Following the resonance of the temple drum, is a parade of colorful lotus lanterns. Food was chosen as a publicity vessel transcending religious and cultural differences. Some 40 different Buddhist dishes drew people's attention with their delicate flavors. What surprised them most was that the explosion of flavors was achieved with no meat and no artificial seasoning. Buddhist cuisine was especially appealing to health-conscious Westerners. Both by the idea and by the taste of the, of the food, it's delicious. I really enjoyed things like mushroom soup and tofu, maybe some tofu pudding for dessert. And people are so health conscious this, these days and to have vegetarian food that doesn't taste like styrofoam is something new and inventive, so definitely, definitely, definitely. 우선 그 음식하고 저 사찰하고 연상을 이제 일반 외국인들이 하기가 쉽지가 않은데요. 이런 이번 행사가 그 사찰의 그 생활이라든지 그 스님들의 그 저기 수도라든지 그리고 사찰에서의 어이 디스플린 그러니까 어 절제나 어 자기 자신의 수련이나 이런 것이 무엇이라는 걸 알았고 그게 또 음식하고 어떻게 연결되는 걸 알았기 때문에 우리 지금 어 템플 스테이라고 여러 사찰이나 또 관광공사가 추진하는 템플 스테이에 대한 관심도 매우 높아졌을 것으로 생각합니다. Pyeongtaek, Gyeonggi Province near Seoul. Sudo-sa or Sudo Temple is designated for temple stays and remains true to the teaching that enlightenment can be found even in food. People dig up taro roots in the temple yard. In the temple, 
any physical labor, be it farming or cleaning, is considered an extension of practicing Buddhism. Yes, we just finished helping uh, to dig out the lotus roots so we can cook them and everything. That's the first time that I've seen a lotus plant up, up close. But uh, it's a very interesting experience, especially the bulbs look very delicious. Uh, not so hard. Um, in my home, my wife loves gardening, and I always have to do this for my wife. So I came to Korea to escape from digging the garden for my wife, but now I'm doing it again. Pseudo Temple offers a chance to taste seasonal Buddhist dishes. They get their ingredients from nature and continually learn the lesson that nature and men are one. Yeah. In the kitchen, they prepare nature's generous ingredients. The earth spirit seems to course through the fingers, and the scent of chrysanthemum seasons all the dishes. And the same with that, uh, the rice that she showed us earlier. Yeah. Now it's time for real cooking. Cooked brown rice and beans are placed on a steamed lotus leaf and wrapped like a precious gift to make lotus leaf rice. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I'm not going to do it over. One of the Buddhist dishes that most impresses foreigners is flour pancakes. Yeah, Sacramento, we have An intact blossom is transformed into a bite sized treat. They are more than chefs cooking up a dish, they are like artists creating a masterpiece. Yeah, it, it is a little complicated type of things to make. In America, sometimes we get used to too much fast food, but this is a slow type of, and a little complicated type of cooking, more complicated than I am used to. <laughs> yeah. It's time to taste their own creations. Buddhist cuisine is marked by the delicate flavors brought out through vegetarian ingredients alone. Its simplicity appeals to foreigners. Buddhist food teaches that all living creatures are precious and that we should be thankful for everything that helped bring food to our table. People can slowly but surely understand what enlightenment through food really means. I feel uh, very relaxed and calm and peaceful. My mind feels very... Um, the word that comes to mind is empty, but it's not a good... It's, it's not a bad empty, it's a good empty. I felt I got a good idea of the day in the life of a Buddhist monk and what it takes to begin on the road to a better life through Buddhism. So I learned a lot and I hope to continue as I can some of the <laughs> difficult things that I learned today. Difficult but necessary things that I learned. Hanare Munar Aran Deja Sanan Kunchumul Yung Munaja Tulobran Gutbo Umga Kitchiman Boyong Munaja Tuki Um Shigur Bogabundan. 그 단순히 먹어 보는 게 아니고 같이 만들어서 먹어 본다는 거. 어 그게 상당히 의미가 있고요. 그 지금까지 또 템플 스테어 접목해 보니까 어 대단히 좋아들하시고 아주 그 감명 깊었다. 어 이런 내용들이 주로 나오고 있거든요. 어 처음부터 그걸 염두에 두고 이렇게 수도사는 템플 스테에 사찰음식 배우기, 먹어 보기 이것을 접목시켰던 거죠. At a Korean temple stay, you can come with nothing yet leave with a full heart. It may have been short, but the experience gave our visitors something to remember. 
these visitors will likely continue valuing all living creatures, reflecting deeply on themselves, and realizing that nothing and no one is absolutely right or absolutely wrong. They will also long to learn more about Korean culture. Temple stay is interesting. The temple stay was inspiring. Temple stay is amazing. 